Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I'm going to be showcasing Alta, which is one of the last three skiers only resorts in the United States left. And this one's famous because it's the largest one out of all of them, having massive canyon runs, awesome tree runs, really good backcountry, and probably some of the best, steepest mogul runs you can get as a skier for a good solid price. Now I went on a weekend, I paid maybe 100 bucks. I'll touch up on pricing later, but for now, I just want you guys to continue watching and see how awesome Alta is. So as you guys can tell, I'm currently at the bottom of the Alta Ski Resort. I just bought my day pass for 125. If you guys go online a week or two prior, you can save a solid 20, 30 bucks. Now at the two ski lifts that I see right now, they all look pretty difficult. They're like blue, black level. I will see some pretty awesome moguls that you can go down. I have not seen any greens yet, but I will try to find them and show them to you guys so that you beginner level skiers will have a place to enjoy yourself while at Alta. All right, so for this run, I really have no idea what actual routes I was going down, so I did end up looking at the map. So as I'm looking at the map, all these ratings for the slopes look kind of iffy because there's a lot of slopes that are super steep and have some faces or some cliffs that you can jump off of. So they should be double black, but they all, for some reason, are all only single black diamonds. Anyways, on this lift, I went all the way up Collins Lift. I went down the Devil's Way and took a path so I could go down the Running Dog's Hose and the Glory Glitch, which is a single slash double black because it does have some rocks you can jump off of, I would say. And um, so this is kind of part of the boundary area or the backside country area that Alta does have. Uh, because everything's kind of it is on path like it's not away from where the ski patrol gets you But it is kind of like unmarked area where everything's powder you're going in between trees you're going down kind of a canyon So it is a pretty fun path to go down, but you do got to know what you're getting into which is why I'm posting this video You guys just saw me go through the backcountry controlled gate and the reason they have those is for avalanche control They are trying to block off certain areas so that you don't get well caught in an avalanche uh, but anyways, the whole area that you see me going down is going to seem a little bit less steep than it actually is because everything is affected by the GoPro effect. And what that really means is that it just seems less steep because of the fisheye slash wide view. Uh, now everything that I'm going down is pretty fun. I would say this is a single black. Uh, the further I go down, there's going to be one specific park that I'll point out that does look like a little bit of a double black. But besides that, it's a pretty doable slope for an inter intermediate expert level skier. Um, but I wouldn't try this if you're a beginner. So right here, what I'm talking about, if you guys took a left and kind of went up where that skier went on the left, if you kind of continue that way, there's some different rock faces so that you can actually jump off of. Uh, I wouldn't really say it's a cliff. It might be 10, maybe 15 feet tops. Uh, so I guess you can say it's like a cliff or rock. So it's completely by your choice if you go down that. But if you're that intermediate skier, just continue going down the designated path. Like it's kind of obvious. You just kind of continue going down that V. But um, if not, just... If you want to do some crazy fun stuff, just kind of go off to the left, your left, and there's a bunch of different rocks that you can go off of. So that's why I consider this area a double black, but if not, it's I would say it's like a doable black slash a little bit more difficult blue.
All right, so up top here, I just got off the Wildcat chairlift, and on the Wildcat chairlift, everything that's off of here is blue and black. So do not go down here if you are a beginner level skier. Now, I took the stimulation run, which is a black, down onto the blue catwalk until I could get to the Collins face. And Collins face is kind of my favorite part of it. It's really steep, has lots of really nice moguls. Uh, one sort of downside to it is that I did notice there's a lot of ice patches, which is pretty difficult because I didn't know this at the time, but my skis were already pretty beat up and were sort of cracked. So it was a little bit hard for me to get the edge, but I had no idea this was going on. This next run you'll see me going on in the next two minutes is when I start to notice that the skis are actually broken and the back half is literally like snapped and I'm skiing down really tough terrain and really bad skis. And I'll kind of bring that up again once I get there. in a way you do So this right here is actually the last run of my day. I was gonna end my day a little bit earlier anyway since it was Super Bowl Sunday, but I had to cut it off at 12 o'clock, which was ridiculously early because the back half of my ski broke. I have no idea how, but I have a few guesses. It was probably the airline, they might've mishandled it or maybe the way it was drilled into, but I know for a fact it definitely wasn't me because if you look at the bottom of the ski, which I will post a picture up on here, uh, there's no damage on the bottom, so it cannot be impact from skiing everything that happened to it was snapped upwards like it was such a weird occurrence uh but anyway so i was skiing down this entire really difficult slope like you guys see how steep it is and you guys know how the gopro effect works so you guys see how steep this hill is and i'm skiing down it with the back half of my right ski broken and i was just so so upset and so worried about what's going on because like it's so hard to get the edge and so hard to actually get good turns when you have nothing that you can actually put pressure on so this run right here was really slow i did it a little bit sketchy because of the situation that i was in I 
guys for tuning into my video. I hope you guys found the information I gave you on Alta very helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you guys enjoyed my video or thought my video was helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to my video. And uh, next week, I'll be posting another video on Tuesday at 5 o'clock as always. So please remember to tune in next week. Thank you guys. Peace out.